Yo gang gang gang, hope all is well with you guys. To my returning OG subscribers, what the fuck is popping? What's up, what's good? To my newly subscribed, hey y'all, thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. To my members on the community, I fucks with y'all because y'all fucks with me. This is a Scorpio affair, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, anywhere you have Scorpio placements in your chart. Grab your hookah, your boo, your white rolls, your amaretto, your coffee. Your H2O, your perk, your spliff. And let's tap into these energies like we do around about this fucking time. So let's tap in. Let's see what they're talking about this morning. So your overall energy is, there is no good reason for the way I acted. I wish I can apologize. No, you don't. <sighs> no, I know that, no, something else. I, I, I realize Scorpio with people and apology. When people apologize, it should be from your heart. That's what that's what you when so I feel like when when I apologize, I apologize to to a person because something is tugging on my heart that didn't go right about something I did. And I realize it and I recognize it and me wanting to correct that means I love that person. So, when you dealing with somebody who know they fucked up, know they did some bad shit and you got to wait three, four days for them to say they, they, they apologize for their actions, you know they don't and they're going to do that same bread shit, bread dumb ass shit again. Like this, and this is a person who apologized in the next few hours they're doing the same dumb ass shit again. This is a grown person. And this is somebody you've been dealing with, Scorpio. So, that's why y'all in separation. This soulmate's in separation. I keep telling y'all all the time because y'all meet a soulmate don't mean that motherfucker's supposed to be in your life in this life. What else? My heart was blocked. I was not able to receive your love when you gave it. Okay. But now, okay, so your heart was blocked then, but now it's unblocked. Now when the separation comes, the, the, the heart unblocked. See, I don't know what's up with that. Why they can't unblock the shit while you there in the bed with they nothing ass helping them going through life, being a helpmate, doing what you're supposed to do. Why that to me it seemed like that that would open somebody block card up, wouldn't it? Love conquers all, that's what they say. So you dealing with somebody who very guarded, very secretive, okay? This person, they try to know everybody else's business so they can be hypocritical, but they, they keep and hide all type of shit. Weird shit I'm hearing that they do, shit that they do when they when they know nobody looking. This this person hide throw a rock and hide their hand all the fucking time. Y'all, we got to we got to really start honing in on people's personalities and how they fucking act around other people and shit like that. We got to stop just going on the physical. Cause you get these motherfuckers home and you have children with them and marry them and then you realize these motherfuckers ain't nothing you want in your fucking bed. If you knew all this shit that you know now, you wouldn't even, you'd have kept moving. You'd have kept going. What else? <clears throat> I wish you can understand that this was a difficult decision for me. In fact, I still struggle with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, they left you, Scorpio, in this instance? Thank God. Now you ain't even got to worry about it. That's good if they left you. Send them some flowers. I am damaged and not deserving of your love. That's true, but you knew that day one, and you still went on. Now it's 10 years later, two kids later, all this shit we got connected, and now we need to separate. It's like it's like going through it. It's like working, working towards separation it's like when we go into these relationships that's karmic and that we shouldn't be in because we want to drag them because we we so you know we so love parvish we looking for love we 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 haven't experienced what our idea of love is so we so hungry for that shit to people like this get the opportunity to come in your life to do a fucking experiment so it's like you you build in 10 years all this shit up and all these emotions and shit just to separate when you could have just not built shit and just separated at the first fucking card. When you knew this person wasn't available. When you knew this person couldn't do what you needed them to do as far as your love life. 
I fear that you will never look at me the same. True, it's hard for me to look at myself in the mirror. It ought to be. And why I say I don't feel sorry for this motherfucker? Because when you're looking in the mirror, that's your opportunity to change. And how many times people look actually look in the mirror at themselves? A lot of people, anybody who want to change, going to look in the mirror. That's what that, That's an analogy. But people who don't want to change, people who think they all right the way they are, you know, they go through life like this and feel like they ain't got to change. Meanwhile, you changing everything about you to coincide with this person. Maybe this person don't even know you doing that, Scorpio. And even if you told them you was doing it, they wouldn't know what the fuck you was talking about because they're not connected to you like you was connected to them. With this person, you may have felt like, felt like that, like you, you know, you love this person more than they love you. My pride and, and ego led us astray, yeah, I'm sure. This person never wants to accept responsibility for what they do. They always want to justify how they acted. And they're not intelligent enough to articulate a conversation and be like, you know what? The way I acted was fucked up. But what I said, out of content, out of, out of context, this is what I really meant. This is how I was really feeling. See, you... See, these people with these emotional outbursts, and they, they hurt too. They broke. They broken. And not only that, they're not trying to heal. You've been knowing this person for how long and they still the same? If you know they are bro they broken, they know they broken. That's just that on fucking that. But people don't want to do the work to change. They rather say, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And if you don't like it, get the fuck on. And they right. If it don't jive, get the fuck on. Don't, don't waste 10 more years, 5 more years, 5 more motherfucking days. I'm hearing that we don't know when our life going to end. Period. And for some of y'all, I'm hearing like the people y'all with anyway, they, they, it's like they, they dead men walking. They ain't taking their medicine like they should to stay in the earth, to be here with you and all this shit. So you stay with their ass, you're going to be ending up down. Uh, arranging a fucking funeral anyway. So it's just how, however you want to look at this shit. That's just how I feel. That's just down on that. You got some people, they just reckless. So it's up to you, Scorpio, with this bullshit. I wish I could have loved you the way you deserve to be loved. Not possible. We keep looking for love and people who never experienced that type of love and we keep connecting ourselves with the first thing we connect with. <laughs> and what are we connecting? We connecting with physical shit. People don't even get time. People don't even give a relationship time to get to know people no more. It's like you meet this person and you so desperate for love and you done been through so much before you left that person that the next week they moving in and y'all trying to create a relationship out of thin air. When they want their first relationship wasn't right, the second one ain't gonna be right. This person ain't healing, so they just wasting ten years of people's lives. They just going through wasting lives until they fucking die. <laughs> And they don't give a fuck. Your overall energy is hurting you hurt me even more. I doubt it. This person don't even know pain. Sometimes I be feeling like these people not even human. These be demons walking among us. People with no fucking souls. I'm telling you, these people be shape shifting and all kind of shit. When you see them drunk and see them in that, see them in that whole little thing, when you look at them, they don't even look like who you married to. They look totally different. They look deranged. Like they out of their fucking mind or something. You never forget that look. There's the will of fortune. There is no good reason for the way I act that I wish I could change. Now, I ain't nothing you could have did different, baby. You can't be mad at them, Scorpio. Because God always make a way for you for your escape, escape route. And your escape routes always be better than that one. And that person who you leave and either they get healed or they move on to the next bitch, you're going to let them take 10 years of their life. It's just that on that. It, it, I mean, it's a no-brainer. It's simple. What do you want for your life, Scorpio? You, you, here you is fighting for this connection. This person ain't even taking their high blood pressure medicine. Who am I talking to? They won't even go to the fucking doctor. <laughs> They got all kind of shit going on with them, and they they drinking like a fish, drugging, don't exercise, don't go to the doctor, don't take their medicine, and here you is fighting for their ass, for their ass to die on your ass. Yeah, they heart blocked, all right? For some of y'all, y'all spouses got heart problems. For some of y'all, y'all spouses had a stroke. I don't know who I'm talking to, but they still don't do what the fuck they supposed to do as far as they health to even be here 
around 10 more years with you. So think about that shit. What else? I told you, you either in pre-empress energy or empress energy. Scorpio, you know your worth now. <laughs> I just keep energetically want to say that. You know what to and what not to invest in. You smart now. You, you, you've you earned your stinger back. Okay? For real. Moving that. You an empress and don't let nobody treat you less than that. Like, what the fuck are we doing? Yeah, you know you stronger than that. Come on. Why you got to fight for love? Why you got to flex your love muscle, Scorpio, everywhere you go? <laughs> Either people trying to tear you down or they trying to make you feel a certain type of way when you there with their ass trying to build. The three of pentacles, you trying to build with somebody who working against you. Who they can't wait to get an opportunity, whether it be alcohol or audience, to show out on you, the one person who's been there since day one. Through it all. And y'all, ladies, y'all know what I mean when I say through it all. I ain't even got, that's just that on that. My heart was blocked. I was not available to receive your love when you gave it. And these people, they, they, they know, they know they not, they shouldn't be in a relationship. They know they shouldn't be. They don't, they don't get healed and they, and they continue on hurting people. That's all they fucking do. The six of wands. But Scorpio, you, you, man, the six of wands. You got all these blessings and all this energy, well, you know, just tied up in this one connection with this one person. That's just not even motivating you. They not, you know, loving you. It's just, it's almost like riding down the road and just throwing every good thing that belonged to you out the window. For years. To the point where you can't even see God's blessings because you're throwing it out the window. Because you're not happy. You'd rather be sitting somewhere gambling or doing some crazy shit that ain't, you know, just so you can feel some kind of something. Because your day-to-day -day life with this person just done turned into just day-to-day -day life with this person. Period. It's, it's no longer a connection at all. Alright, why is this my heart is blocked here? The Eight of Cups, yeah. You walk towards what you know you need to walk towards, which is a, a healthy relationship. Like, who the fuck want to stay with somebody that's not healthy and in, a healthy in an unhealthy relationship with them when you know that's what it is? Like, that's stupidity. So you just chill. The four of swords, you rest on that shit. You stop bogging your mind. You stop trying to figure out ways you can, you know, get this person to love you. Why we want to get somebody to love us? It's almost like we want to make somebody recognize how good we are because they're not, they're not showing you in the connection that you... Are of substance. So it's like you go out your way to try to love this person because you want to show this person, like, I am a loyal person. But this person, meanwhile, back at the ranch, they don't give a fuck whether you loyal or not. Only thing they want to make sure is you ain't fucking nobody else. That's all they worried about. The Eight of Swords. That's all they worried, that's all they worried about now that you gone. Who you sleeping with? They don't need to worry about it because you ain't sleeping with their ass no more. The Ten of Swords, after all that portrayal and shit. People, I, I just, I, this, this whole thing just, I'm feeling some type of way. I really am. Yeah, the Ace of Swords, I know one thing, I'm telling the fucking truth about this person. They asked, yeah, the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, and the Devil Energy clarifying these two roles, yeah, this, this bitch toxic as fuck. They toxic and... The only thing, the only thing this person about I'm hearing is money or like statue or, you know, position. This person, this person always been like that. They, they worry about stuff that they'll never have. Because what they don't understand is the people that they stumbling over and the people that they fucking over was they blessing. They gateway. People just don't understand that. This how this person, this how this, this is person energy now. Gold digging. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. They talk about somebody who going through shit in their finances. You going through shit in your finances, Scorpio, because you spending so much money gambling or trying to keep your mind off this stupid shit when you need to be saving your money so you can get the fuck on and get to a better life. 
And then you got this person who they just going to keep you there anyway because they, they don't give a fuck. They ain't healed. They just hanging out with your ass anyway. I'm going to help somebody today. Wish you can understand that this was a difficult decision for me. In fact, I still struggle with it. I wish you could understand. Scorpio don't give a fuck what you went through. You fucking kidding me? You done took 10 years of my life <laughs> for no reason at all. 10, 11, 12. I keep, I'm, I'm on 10. I don't know who this for. Fuck you. Four cups. Missed opportunity, boo. Move on. Stop obsessing about Scorpio. Just move on. Just find you another quick little something other that, you know, Maybe this time they'll hold you out. <laughs> Maybe this time they'll fucking take 10 years of your life and wait till your ass drop dead and get your money and go bring another nigga in your bed, some shit like that, some low down shit like you did to Scorpio. The star. Like I said, they don't they don't they don't recognize your work till you're gone. They don't want to give you your flowers after you done left their ass. They don't want to do that. Or they don't want to give you they fly, your flowers till they in another relationship with a bitch. Who really dragging their ass or do just vice versa? Take it how it resonates. People want you to stay with them and go through shit that they wouldn't go through with you. Like, who the fuck is you? The fuck? Yeah, the page of cups in reverse. Now you want to apologize. But you saying, motherfucker, you don't apologize to shit hit the fan. You don't apologize to your wife or your husband leave. You don't apologize because you know what the fuck you did was wrong and you just wrong. Because you ain't going to never admit that you wrong because you're a narcissist. The four pinnacles continuously holding on to the connection, being obsessive, uh, you know, in your phone. This person, this person, they, they treat you like you a cheat, but they the cheat. I'm hearing that they got your, they can look at in your phone and retrieve your messages. But you can't look in their shit and retrieve their shit. And if you did, you probably wouldn't like their ass no more. You probably would have been separated. The Ace of Pentacles, just a lot of new beginnings for you, Scorpio. And money and love, you just you just stuck back here with this bullshit. Cause for some of y'all, Scorpio, y'all for some of y'all, Scorpios, you thinking all the time y'all done invested in this person keep going. I'm telling y'all right now, all the time you done invested in that person is a loss, and if you keep going, that's a loss too. So take it how it resonates. Shit. Keep going with the shit if you want to. The four, the Queen of Cups in reverse. Somebody check out of that shit. They opt out. <laughs> They're like, fuck you. You can keep this shit with you. And you can keep rolling with it. Find somebody who like it. It's some people out there who like it. Like, it's some pe it's some women who will exchange feelings for money and sex. I mean, they just they just like niggas. They just like dudes. You know, you got women like this. So I feel like that's going to be this person, Karma. They're going to fall in love with somebody after you that they think, oh, wow, okay. <laughs> Ten years going to go down the line of their ass, and then that's, this person, look, as soon as I said it, they're going to ghost their ass. And when they ghost their ass, know what's the first thing going to pop in their mind? Scorpio. Yeah, they, they thought they was riding high on you. Nah. You the one in the spotlight. You the spotlight couple. I am damaged and not deserving of your love. Exactly. They know that. The high priestess. You know that. <laughs> you knew that from day one. You just, for whatever reason, thought this person would change and they didn't. The king of pentacles. You're very stable, Scorpio. You're in the best position of your life to get, get the fuck out. The two of pentacles in reverse. You balance. You getting your thoughts together. You strategizing now. You're planning an exit. The Nine of Pentacles, pre-Empress energy. You got the resources. You got everything you need. Now all you got to do is save and get your mind together. Get this person out your mind. Stop investing in it. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. No more work need to be done here, Scorpio. Go be happy. Ten of Cups, go be happy. If ain't nobody told you that shit, I'm telling you that shit. Go be happy. This shit you in, it's not gonna get better. It's not gonna, it ain't got better in 10 years. It's not gonna get better. This person think they fine. They think everybody else in the world need to change except them. That's their mentality, okay? So that's who you dealing with. I dealt with. I fear that you will never look at me the same. It's hard for me to look at myself in the mirror. Look, as soon as I said that, the, t the three of swords... 
Because this is, you know, this is the ultimate betrayal. The Ten of Swords. This is the ultimate betrayal. Why do I say that? Because, you know, I can I can I can remarry. You're gonna remarry. You're gonna you're gonna get you some companionship. You can get back a lot of shit this relationship took from you, but your time. And fuck right on Builder and fuck right on pissed off and fuck right. I don't like your motherfucking ass. That's just how I feel angry as fuck. Period. Cause I feel like somebody tried to play Scorpio. This is what this feel like. Just like took your kindness for weakness and Scorpios ain't even fucking kind. That's the point. We don't we we don't like people and we don't jail with every fucking body. And who we sleep with. Your ass, that that's that's a whole that's a whole nother tarot card reading right there. Who we sleep with? You had to esteem that person to be somebody you would marry, have children. I don't sleep with people that I wouldn't marry and have children with. No matter, no, even though now I'm, I'm out of my childbearing years, but I'm just saying I wouldn't even now to this day I wouldn't sleep with a man. That I would that I wouldn't want to marry or have children with. Who am I talking to now? So you you identified this person as that person, and look what they done. So now going forward, Scorpio, I just want to know how do you identify these people? You identify them by when they show you who the fuck they are. Believe it. When they show you that shit in this first year, go get the fuck on. Stop yearning for more. We got to start loving ourselves to the point where we're not searching for love. Where love is searching us. Period. I don't know who that was for. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody just wants you to be in that energy of feeling like you're not enough. That's why you love this shit. Because you are enough. Look. Every time somebody try to make you think you're not enough, God let you know you're enough, Scorpio. Everything you need is at your fingertips. That's what that Nine of Cups is saying to me. Everything you need. For everybody that took something back, took something from you, God is giving it back, Scorpio. God is restoring us to of swords. You just got to make this decision. We had a fork in the road now. It's time now to piss or get off the fucking pot. Don't keep talking about it. Be about it. The three of wands. Only thing you got here is travel cards. Scorpio, I, I just see you now, your your wheels turning now. You you thinking now, you you thinking of an exit, definitely. <laughs> ah. Yeah. All, all, I mean everything is a goal. You got everything you need. You victorious people admire you, Scorpio. The people that are real people, the people who are healed people, they admire who you are. They don't they don't look at who you are as bad and if it's something that they need to tell you that about yourself in love i feel like the people who come in your life now they're, they're they're in a place where they can come from love because they do love you they can tell you something about your personality that need to be changed because why because they done the work bitch you're not gonna tell me i need to change and you've been the same low down filthy nothing ass person since i met you you telling me how I need to change and what I need to do. Boy, bye. My pride and ego led us astray. Pride and ego is the number one killer of a relationship, not a third party situation. Pride and fucking ego. The Queen of Pentacles. I feel like what cure pride and ego is having your own. If you got your own house, you got your own car, you got your own bank account, your own, own, own. I just feel like your ego and pride won't get in your way. Because ego and pride has to do with somebody feeling a certain type of way about what they don't have. Okay? So be, if you being egotistical or prideful, you're coming from a place of lack. You're coming from a place where you, you're not used to shit. That's just that on that. That's all ego and pride is. It's just some kind of chumped up emotion that don't mean shit. Like you beating in your fucking chest. It don't mean you strong. That means you can beat in your fucking chest. So you, you're leaving this person and you're going straight into stability and happiness. The queen of pentacles, the four of wands, and the sun. Everything is being... Every, it's like 
the windows open. It's like it's like the heavens. Oh, it's like you just realize I can't do it no more. <laughs> like in that moment, like I, I just that's it. I choose to be happy. Cause ain't shit going on in my life why why I can't be happy. The three of cups. I got good people in my life. I got family and friends that when I'm around, I genuinely laugh and feel happy about it. You know, I I I'm in I'm in I'm at a job where people celebrate my success with me. Where people invest in me, where people, you know, take time with me to cultivate my greatness, not tear me down. Who am I talking to? Mimi. The Ace of Cups. I can't make it up. You have three aces here. Everything full circle. Everything full circle. I can't make it up. And I'm telling you, your ancestors with you all the way because they, they've been wanting you out of this connection. A lot of you guys could have been getting signs and synchronicities. And I ain't talking about no subtle signs. I'm talking about fucking red flags. Like, period. Like, caution. 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 For years. I wish I could have loved you the way you deserve to be loved. No, you don't. People don't even know what that means when they don't know what love is. Yeah, the king of wands in reverse. This bitch lying. They're going to come around trying to get back because they're obsessed with you. Telling you what they think you want to hear, what they think they learn from you. Nah, it ain't going to work now. The, the the fool card, I ain't even know where, where you can tell me that shit. I took the leap of faith. I jumped off the cliff. I took the leap of faith. I did. I jumped off the cliff. I left. Nine of swords in reverse. Yeah, I ain't finna lose no sleep over this shit. I lost sleep when I was with this shit. I lost my mind down now. So I'm definitely not finna be in this energy with me leaving this shit. Yeah, the five of wands in reverse. This person gonna come back, try to make you see things their way. You know, try to cash in on the 10 years. That's the only thing they can... We been, you gonna throw 10 years away? Yeah, 10 years of bullshit. 10 years of pure unfucking happiness. 10 years of me witnessing you treat me different than you do other people. And I'm right here with your ass. Yeah, <laughs> what you, 10 years of what? Fuck, not love. 10 years of unknowing, 10 years of you in my phone and in my business and I ain't in yours and don't know who the fuck you is still, yeah. That 10 years, I'm glad that shit over there. And what you saying, you want me to come back to that shit? Fuck you. I'd rather go to fucking Alcatraz. The two of cups in reverse, you ain't my soul, mate. You a fucking karmic. The Six of Cups came out. I feel like you revisiting your past too, Scorpio. When I say that, I mean all the all the connections and relationships of people you lost along the way. Because I feel like this relationship cost you that too. You stop talking to people you normally talk to. You stop fucking with people you normally fuck with. You stop thinking... About money the way you used to think about money. Like this person just changed your whole view on life period. And then now it's time to go. The magician is here. Yeah you manifesting that exit. God manifesting it for you to a quick exit. An abundant exit. The, the world card is definitely over with. Just a cycle in your life. I feel like too with the title card. Um. Coming out as your um, advice with the rest of the cards, I feel like you somebody relocates and get a new house, or you move to where you always said you wanted to move. Whatever you ask God for is coming into fruition now. And then your overall energy is the hangman, of course. You seeing shit different. You seeing this person for who they really are now. The, the scales off. Let's get a kipper and see. Let's see who this person, let's see the mask this person wear every day. Why they point the finger at everybody else? Hurts and shit they need to hear. Coughing, I told you. <laughs> you around here trying to fucking 
pull your hair out and stress out by loving a motherfucker who won't even take their high blood pressure medicine. You ain't even got to worry about them. Poverty. Message of concern. I can't make this shit up. Toil and label. This person finna this person finna really get their karma. That's what I'm hearing. And you gonna hear about the Scorpio. Not that you give a fuck. Your marriage is here. I told you they go on real quick. And that's good. So they can leave you the fuck alone. So you can be happy. But this person. <laughs> they gonna get they gonna marry they gonna marry just who they need to marry this time. They're gonna marry somebody who's gonna do them the same way they did you, but worse. And it's gonna cost them the death card, the coffin, it's gonna cost them. Period. Overall energy on the bottom of the deck is change. Change is here, Scorpio. It really is. Let's get a couple of these angel oracles. Let's see what's what the new person looking like here. Spirit guys, angels, what are the messages for Scorpio and that new person? Religious factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Yeah, your spiritual path. Forgiving and learning as you as you release and heal the past, you 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 experience more love in your present moments. Yeah. Let that shit go, Scorpio. You mad, you bitter right now, you'll get over that shit. It'll be like brand new 2023. You ain't gonna even look like what you went through. I feel like too in 2023, people ain't, when they see you, they won't even recognize you. That's how motherfucking good you're gonna be looking. Flirt. Huh? <laughs> Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Yeah, Scorpio, flirt your ass off. Mingle. Go places you ain't never been before. Meet people you ain't never met before. Go in different circles. Your old circles, they don't suit you no more. Get out of town some. Travel. All your cards, travel cards. Pay attention to the red flags, the signs of caution you. I told you, y'all don't need 10 years to figure this shit out. We know what be up. All right, Scorpio, your overall energy is release your motherfucking ex. The time has come to clear your energy, all right? If y'all still with me, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Let those ads play for at least 30 seconds so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, everything you need to know is in the description box below. I love you, Scorpio. I'll see you in the next video.